Hi everyone, it's uh, Thursday, March 14th. I uh, hope you had a great Wednesday yesterday. Uh, if you're able to join us uh, for Soup Supper, that, that, that was awesome. And for worship, that was awesome. Uh, we continue. This is our last day that we're looking at uh, when I am uh, uh, blind and alone. Uh, God, is, God is with me and, and we see how he's with me. Uh, he's with me in the presence of Jesus, in the presence of those who testify about Jesus in their lives. Um, and through his word, he's with me. He's He's with me, right? He comes to me in my blindness. So uh, we're going to finish up this chapter 9 here. Uh, Jesus heard that they had thrown him out. Remember, we left that yesterday. They, they excommunicated him. They threw him out of the temple. He was cut off uh, from, the social, from society, in a sense. Uh, Jesus heard that they had thrown him out. And when he found him, he said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? Uh, Jesus, uh, when he talked about himself as the Son of Man, it was always in a saving, a saving activity. Son of man goes to the cross because you see a man can die. God, God in a sense doesn't die, but the God man can die. <laughs> so he's son of God. He's a son of man. Uh, and, and so he's in a saving place here. He's coming to this man uh, to save him, uh, to show him himself that he might, uh, that this man might trust him uh, for salvation and believe in him. So he comes as a son of man. That's his, his designation here. So do you believe in the son of man? Who is he, sir? The man asked. Tell me so that I may believe in him. Jesus said, you have seen him now. In fact, he is the one speaking with you. Then the man said, Lord, I believe. And he worshiped him. This is huge, right? Uh, the, the Jewish people will worship no one but Yahweh. Uh, to worship any, this, they had, there is, the, you know, the Lord, hear O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. <laughs> There's one God, Yahweh. And so this man is worshiping Jesus as the Messiah, as the one who is the God man. This is huge. And so think about how much his eyes have been opened. So certainly physically he can see, but, 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 but also spiritually he knows Jesus as the Messiah, as the God man. He worships him and Jesus takes this worship. This is really powerful stuff. Um, when our eyes are open, we worship Jesus. Uh, not just with our words, but with our lives as well. Uh, so, uh, and then, then this goes on. Then the man said, Lord, I believe, and he worshiped him. Uh, Jesus said, for judgment I have come into this world, so that the blind will see, and those who see will become blind. So, what kind of judgment is this? I mean, John three sixteen. For God so loved the world, he gave his one and only Son. Whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send the, world, the Son of the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. So, so uh, God, in, in G, He's not coming to condemn us. That kind of, but but this judgment, rather, it, it, it what, say, say that again. For God so loved the world that anyone who believes in Him, the judgment here is, uh, you, you know, if, if you don't trust Him, if you don't believe in Him, if you don't, the hand trust is always this thing called faith. The hand that receives what Jesus offers, the forgiveness of sins and life with Him, uh, to, to and how do we receive that? To know His grace, His love for us. And we have this great need. We have this hole in our heart. Uh, and, and to know that Jesus fills it as he washes us clean and we have relationship with him. And, and, and so this is the judgment this is, this is, this is talking about. Uh, it's just the gospel proclaimed. The good news of Jesus proclaimed. That whoever believes in him, but you've got to believe in him. You've got to trust in him. Uh, so he says, for judgment I have come into the world. So that the blind will see. And those who see will become blind. Uh, so that the, 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 the blind will see those... Um, those who know that that <laughs> that they don't have it straight and that and their their eyes are open to Jesus, the blind will see, uh, and and then on the other hand, those who see will become blind. That that they they don't think they need Jesus. They don't see. They 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 think they have it all figured out. They don't need God. They don't need what Jesus offers. Uh, they're the blind ones. Uh, and the, the some Pharisees who were with him, heard him say this and asked, what, are we blind too? Jesus said, if you were blind, you would, be, you would not be guilty of sin. If you realized your need and your blindness and your, your need for Jesus, you wouldn't be guilty because you would have received it, right? Uh, but now uh, that you claim you can see, your guilt remains. Uh, and and this, this all hinges, again, uh, I, I think the, these words, uh, they, we can get lost in them, but, but this is really a proclamation same proclamation, the good news of Jesus is John three sixteen. Whoever believes in him, uh, if you believe him, your eyes are open. You are blind. Your eyes are open. If you don't, uh, you think your eyes are open. You think you know the truth, but actually you're blind. 
And that's why Jesus steps into our lives and our world to continually shine his light. Uh, and he does it uh, personally himself through his spirit, but also through us. We bring his spirit to one another and, and the lives of others um, so that folks can see and have life in Jesus. Um, w would you pray with me? Dear Jesus, we, um, we thank you. We see your heart and that you found this man to make sure he knew you, could know you by faith, and could have life with you. We pray that you might show us that in your love for us, you've done that for each of us, and through us, you continue to do that. Help us to be those who are uh, shine your light uh, into the lives of the world, into lives that are blinded, so that they might know you. Pray in your name. Amen. Okay, uh, we'll see you Sunday uh, and, and next week as well. God willing, may God be with you. Bye-bye.